hey guys welcome back to another video hope you all are doing good so in today's video we are going to see how to fix if brightness slider is missing on windows 11 so let's start the video the first step you can try is open windows services so click on this search box and type service you will get this result services click on it so these are the windows services now you have to search for a service called display enhancement service so right click on this service then go to properties in the startup type make sure the option is selected as automatic if there is something else select automatic then click on apply then click on ok after that again right click on this service then click on restart so this will restart this particular service after that cut this window and check but if you are still getting the same issue your brightness slider is not showing move on to the next step update your drivers so right click on windows icon then click on this option device manager so these are the drivers i have in my system so first go to this driver monitors and this is the driver of my monitor make sure this driver is enabled if this driver is disabled like this just right click on it click on enable device that's it after that just restart your system and this will fix the issue but if you are still getting the same issue move on to the next step update the driver so right click on it go to update driver click on browse my computer then click on let me pick from after that select the driver you have then click on next so this will reinstall your monitor driver after updating your monitor driver go to this option display adapters after that right click on the intel graphic driver you have then click on update driver then click on browse my computer then click on let me pick from select your driver then click on next so this will reinstall your graphic driver as well cut this window and after that restart your system and check if you are still getting the same issue the next step you can try is update your operating system so go to this windows icon click on settings after that on the left side click on windows update and simply click on check for updates and update your operating system in the most cases this step will fix the issue the final step or the final method you can try if you are still getting the same issue just reset your operating system so if you tried everything but still getting the same issue the same error just reset your operating system i will show you how to reset it so just click on this windows icon go to settings on the left side click on this system option after that on the right side scroll down and click on this option recovery and here you will get this option reset this pc click on reset pc so there are two options you can use first is keep my files and second one is remove everything so go for the first one keep my files so this will remove your apps and setting but your data will remain safe so go for the first one keep my files after that click on this option local reinstall click on next and here you can see the details your pc will go back to the default mode keep personal file so your data will remain safe this will reinstall windows from this device the only drawback is that this will remove all the applications you have in your system but your uh, your data your uh, files all the important files you have in your system will remain safe this will only uh, remove all the apps you have in your system so just click on reset and this will take around half an hour and this will reset your pc completely and fix all kind of errors so this is the final method you can try this is all for the video thank you